Well, God bless you beautiful people on this beautiful Monday morning. My God, we got up this morning and God have allowed us to get up this morning, I tell you, in our right mind. And some people didn't get up this morning in their right mind this morning. And we have to be thankful God allowed us to do. My God, how are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling pretty good. Did you have your coffee yet? Well, I'm having mine. Is that all right? You got a moment? Notre Dame got a victory. Well, listen, this morning I want to talk to you uh, about something that I'm talking about, Christian girls. This is what we're going to talk about, Christian young ladies. Uh, let me say that girls should be uh, in school. Uh, Christian girls, young ladies, getting ready for their lives, getting in college together. Uh, Getting their, their car, buying them a car, getting your little apartment, or trying to buy you a house. It all depends on what age you are. Um, sister, stay at home with mom and dad. That's safe right now, and just grow your grow your life. Don't be so worried about trying to get no man. And I know church girls is. You know, I don't go nowhere. Everybody's going and look like everybody's having fun, but you, that's not true. There's there's hell on that other side. You're in the best place you could be going to church and being a good church. I want to talk out of a book of, um, out of Genesis, and this story is so familiar. It talks about Lot and his family. And I did a study on it. I've been studying it for a week or so. Now I've been just trying to pull out. I understand because I study so much. I understand what God is doing uh, in this in the text of Genesis and it, when Lot uh, and Abraham had got into it, basically, and Lot told him, if you choose to go to the right, I'll go to the left, and if you choose to go to the left, I'll go to the right, because Abraham didn't want no problem with the family, and that's what a lot of it, and this is what the Old Testament do. It gives us examples, God, I tell you, I give you examples in the Old Testament, but we always turn around on God and be like, God, why did you allow that to happen to Lot and his daughters? And why did his wife turn around and get turned into a pillar, pillar of salt? Because she was disobedient. Lot was really a hypocrite just to hurry up because I don't have long on the, on the air. But uh, if, if, if he was at my church, I would I could break it down a little longer because I, have, I would have a little bit more time. Um, but just to dive in here real quick... Uh, we, this is coming out. I'll give you the scriptures as I read. I want to read this in your hearing. The first incident that involved Lot's daughter appeared in Genesis 19, 1 and 11. That's Genesis 19, uh, 1 and 11. Let me put these glasses on. Help me a little bit. Two men who were angels appeared in Solomon where, Lot's, where Lot lived with his family. The wicked men of the city surrounded Lot's house seeking to have homosexual relationship, homosexual relationship with the angels. Lot begged them, Lot begged the men of the city not to do this evil thing, and he offered his two virgin daughters to them instead. Now, when you read this text, when I heard this text, I don't have a daughter, but I know, brothers, that you out there, have daughters, men be overprotected of their daughter. And a lot of times, men is really overprotected of their daughters, watching their teenage daughters, because you was a man, and you know what you did to people's daughter. So you have to understand, the Bible don't come back void. Whatever a man sows, shall he reap. So a lot of fathers look at their daughters, especially when they get big, they're getting, where men is starting to pay attention to them, things is growing on them. Men get jealous and be looking back to what they did and they nasty self. I'm telling you this, I'm telling you, I'm a man. I, I, and I don't have no daughters, but I can imagine what they're doing because I've ministered to so many men that be really mean to their daughters because they don't want their daughters to get done to them what they did to other people's daughters, if that makes sense. Let's read a little further. Homosexual relationship with the angels, Lot begged the men of the city not to do this evil thing. And he offered his two virgin daughters to them instead. Now, when I was searching this out, because here's the thing, you, 
you have to pull out what God reveals to you. This is this is what church do. You have to read not just the service. Yeah, I know what happened a lot. Uh, he was destroyed in Solomon and Gomorrah. You know that. Yeah, I know what happened a lot. Uh, his wife got turned into a pillar of salt. Do you know why? This is why I said we can't do surface teaching anymore. People really need to know what is the scriptures really saying? Why did this happen? And what is God trying to show us? And this is why I say you have to get a relationship with God because he can give you the mysteries and what he's trying to get out of it when you get a relationship. If not, you'll be asking all the time, why God do this? And why God let this happen? And why God let my house burn down? Why God let my uh, uh, job get lost? And why God let my mama die? And why, why God let my children get hurt? And this we start blaming. But you have to look at you, what you're doing, all the way up to what's happened. And it's not God's fault. Let's go deeper. The second incident in Genesis 19 and 30 through 38, after Lot and his daughters had fled to Solomon, just before it, its destruction, Lot's wife dis was destroyed for her disobedience during the journey. And Lot and his two daughters flee, flee to live in a cave in a mountain, afraid live in a cave afraid they would never have husbands that's the two daughters they're talking about afraid they would never have husbands sisters you have to be so careful of uh, uh, christian girls you have to be so careful of getting desperate desperate bring on on e evil thoughts and i gotta have it and i'm not gonna never get married and and mama why i can't go to the party because everybody else going well Sometimes when you're called by God, you have to stay away from certain things, if that make any sense. You can't do anything. Afraid they would never have husbands or children. Now, here we go. In their hideout, Lot's daughter plotted. Sisters, stop plotting on these men. Protect yourself. You're the one that's going to have a baby. That guy is going to get up and go on his regular thing that he's normally doing, whether that's chasing other women or, what, or whatever. I know, guys, I know I'm, I'm, I'm messing you up a little bit, but I'm just trying to get these sisters to understand. You have to protect yourself, and don't, don't get desperate because these girls were desperate. Now, when I read the story, that made me go back to the house. When the men was coming to get the, the men to be gay, Lot offered his two daughters. Was they in the house saying, well, let us go. Let us go. We can go out there. We can handle them. Let us go, Dad. Let us party with the men. Was they saying that? Come on, somebody. Because the show lets me know in here, after they had uh, a, a, afraid they would never have husbands or children in their hideout, Lot's daughter plotted. Now watch this. To make their father. To make their father drunk. Now, me listening to the whole story, Lot was a mess too. Lot had been a hypocrite. When you read the story, Lot was a hypocrite too. And Lot was the judge of that village so or that city. So Lot was a mess and them people had no respect. When you read the text, they didn't have no respect for Lot because he in and out of church. And that's the way people do you when you're in and out of church. One day you at, at the Elks, twerping, blend it up, twerking, and the next day you're in praise team. Oh, yeah, ding. The Lord don't know, you're right in the middle. He don't know who you are. So women, you have to be so careful by, by getting desperate to find a husband, desperate to have a children. And I even find it in, uh, it, at my church, I have uh, I've had, had some lesbians go to my church, and I love them. I didn't like the act. You see what I'm saying? And you have to be careful about like, well, you know, it's my daughter, it's my son. You have to love them. Yes, you do. But you have to constantly let them know that they're, they might be going to hell by doing that. That is totally against what God is saying. You cannot multiply two men or women. Come on, somebody. He made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So it's not. I ain't tripping about it. I'm just saying we have to be so careful. So they plotted. 
And there's a lot of situation in 2021 that I know by being a pastor for going on 11 years that I know men got trapped up by the girl knowing that she's going to get pregnant to get that man. And you can't do that. You can't make nobody into your life. God have somebody for you and a destiny for you. And we got to understand God's one day is three years to our one day. So God know what you're going to be doing or what you should be doing in the next three years if he allow you to live. If that makes sense. Let's go a little deeper. I apologize. It's going to be a little longer today. To the modern sensibility, it's hard to understand why, here we go, God would allow these two terrible incidents to occur. We are told in 1 Corinthians 10 and 11, that the record of the Old Testament, here we go, it meant as an example to us. In our words, God gives us to hold truth about biblical characters. So God said, I'm letting you know about everybody. I ain't just, just biting on y'all, beating y'all up. I'm telling you about the people that in the Bible had issues like you do. And I still used them, I still loved them, and I still took them to victory. You can say whatever you want about what God don't do, but you have to look at what he do do. Come on, somebody. What God do do. He do for you because right now, if you're watching me, you can see. Imagine if you was blind. Can you hear me? God is always, you're breathing. You got up this morning in your right mind. Let me take these glasses off. Somebody might hit me in my face. God is always for you. It's time out for saying God is not for you. God is for you. You got to be for him. And he's trying to show you in Genesis in the beginning. Oh, I don't do no Old Testament. I, don't, I just do the New Testament. He said, don't add and take away. You ain't that powerful to do that. And your suggestions of what you can use out of the Bible, that don't make no sense about you. That makes me feel that you're just a hypocrite, think you know everything, and you need some Jesus, need to be saved, delivered, and have the Holy Ghost, and get your messy self right. It said, we are told in 1 Corinthians 10 and 11 that the record of the Old Testament is meant as an example to us. In our words, God gives us the whole truth about biblical characters, their sins, their future, their victories, and good deeds. And we are to learn from their examples that to do and what not to do. In fact, this is one of the ways God teaches us what we need to know in order to make good choices as believers, as believers, church girls, believing girls. We can learn the easy way by knowing by knowing and obeying God's word. We can learn the hard way by suffering the consequences of our mistakes. My God. Or we can learn by watching others take heed from their examples. Come on, church. You you talking about, you know, Lot's daughter. Uh, 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 how did he offer them up? to be gang raped. Well, they could have been a mess inside of the house. This is a family in the house. They want to go party. Lot trying to be uh, something like a, a pastor, uh, but a hypocrite. His wife liked the world. She halfway wanted to go to church. That's why she looked back and, and, and turned in the pillow of salt because she didn't want to leave all that junk was going on there. Men going with men, women going with women. They going with goats and bulls and cows and sheep. That's what they was doing. They're laying with their own daughters. That was the crazy stuff of Saul and Gomorrah. That's why God wanted to destroy that crazy stuff. And this is where you have to understand when the world is crazy like it now, we, we, we got commercial with guys kissing each other and we can't figure out why our children is tripping. The children, you put earrings in little boy's ears and you got two daughters already. You have another little boy and they playing with the dials. They got two earrings in. Your little boy got two earrings in. He don't know what he is. You don't watch him enough because you running after George that you trying to trap to let him take care of somebody else's baby. Come on, people. It's too much you trying to do to make your life right when all the thing you need to do is put God and Jesus Christ in it. Put Jesus in your life. 
He'll straighten it all out. I was a mess. There my right hand is if you can't find yours. I was a mess. It was this word of God that straightened me out. Women, you cannot start getting desperate. Church girls get desperate. And the only thing old slick guy come to church with you one or two times, now yeah, he don't mad to me. He gonna mad at me. He don't mean more want you than nothing in the world. He done got what he want because you done got ease and gave that to him. Now you ain't looking like no church person to him at all. You should have held yourself and then this guy would be trying to marry you. You have to understand if the guy got the cow, why would he buy the milk? The milk is in the cow. He don't need don't he don't need you to buy your milk. He got that. Come on, somebody. God gives an example in the Bible so we can straighten our messy self out. Lot household was a mess. Lot was a hypocrite. And then it tells even about drinking. There's so much in here I could take this. I'm going to have to do a series on it because it talks about Lot and his drinking. Lot, you're not drunk from the beginning. And then you knew when you getting drunk if your daughter's pulling up on you. Come on. You, you ain't that drunk. You know when a guy hitting on you and you getting drunk. To, to lay with him to have his baby because everybody, girl, you need to get him, girl. I think he's trying to deal with some other girl. And you be plotting to get and trap him with a baby? For real? So you running all over town looking behind car. Girl, don't eat. There he go. There he go. There he is with her. I knew he was. It ain't no time out for that. You're a wonderful maid. You're a beautiful woman. Come on, somebody. If don't nobody want me and walk, you can walk away from me without looking back. See you when I see you. My God, you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna do that to me. And that's the where we gotta be. Do not be desperate, Christian girls. Is that good? That was pulled out of the story of Lot. Them daughters could have been a mess. The angels was was coming there, and when them men got to hollering, uh bring out the angel, they could have been volunteer. I don't know the mysteries of the Bible. I don't know what was going on in that house. I'm only giving you what the Bible giving me. Then in my mind, in your mind, you got to put what God is saying. What you going to do? Are you be going to be homosexual? It don't seem like that was the greatest thing to do if God destroyed it by being a homosexual. Come on, somebody. Why would he destroy it? Then you have people, let me tell you something. I don't do no church. I don't do, but somebody praying for your butt. Screw, did I say butt? Excuse me. Edit that. Take that out. Somebody praying for you. Somebody, Lot, cousin Abraham was praying for him. He was asking God, you can quote me on this. If there be 50 righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah, will you not destroy that God? God said, if there be 50 righteous people, I will not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord, I know I asked you for the 50, but if there be 30, Will you not destroy Solomon and Gomorrah? He's praying for Lot. That's why Lot got out of there. See, him mamas and grandmamas and people have been praying for you. That's why you rolling like you're doing. It ain't on you. If you would pray up to God and get a relationship, all your life would be smoothed out. Is that good? That's a good word for this is for Monday. Let me tell you something. If you went to church yesterday and you're a Christian, please show around whoever you're around that you're a Christian. I, I see too many Christians come into a place and I watch worldly people say, oh, here they come. I don't know who they're going to be today. If they whining Nina the buying today or Delilah, my God, please call me before you come to work. Let me know who you are. Well, listen, God bless you all. This is Monday. Be careful out there. Be safe out there. Do something uh, for someone today. If you see a problem, fix a problem. I love you all. Be blessed. And I love you. God bless you.